Alright, so I was not expecting to be making this video. I honestly did not think I would ever be making a video about this specific character. But I tried him out, and... Well, he's now replaced Barbara on my team. I like him a lot more than Barbara, because Barbara is basically just for healing. Like, she can't do much of anything else. But Zinkui... Honestly, I've seen people build this man as a DPS. It wasn't the best, but it can work out for lower levels. But this man is insane support with the abilities that he has. Right now, he's only at 40 because I literally just tried him out. So I need to get a little bit of materials to get him to 50, and that's probably where I'm going to stop. His weapon is at 50, though. And this is the Sacrificial Sword. I do have some couple of better ones. If you don't have Sacrificial Sword, which I see to be at the best... Because after damaging opponent with an elemental skill, the skill has a 40% chance to end its own cooldown. Can only occur once every 30 seconds. So you want this man to have his elemental skill as as much as possible. So yeah, I tried him out with Protoside Rancor. I didn't like it. And then this one is another one. If you don't have a 4 star sword, this one can also work really, really well with him. The Filet Blade on hit has 50% chance to deal 240% attack damage to a single enemy. So this one is basically something like the uh, prototype Animus, but it's only a three star. So this thing is a lot easier to get, but I would recommend if you don't have a four star sword that does something that helps with elemental skill and recharge, I would recommend using this one. But I like the Sacrificial Sword because I'm trying to build him to get his elemental skill as quickly as possible. So therefore, I do have some really, really trash artifacts right now because I haven't really had a chance to like truly build him. But I pretty much just tried to do anything that increased his health and energy recharge. And then sometimes I'll put in a bunch of attack. Hopefully this one helps because this one has a healing bonus, has attack and attack percentage, and then crit rate. But most of them of these have energy recharge. But that's basically my only way I'm building it. I just want a crap load of recharge because it does... I think it takes 13 seconds for his elemental skill to recharge. Which is... It's not terrible. It's closer to what you would need to do a full range of attacks with Razor. So it works out for me. But it's not the best. I do have one Constellations which increases the maximum number of rain swords by one. Which... If you don't know what that is, his attacks are Fatal Rain Screen. He performs twin strikes with his sword, dealing Hydro damage. At the same time, this ability creates a maximum number of Rain Swords, which will orbit your active character. Now, to like put it, pretty much make it easier to understand, you pretty much use your elemental skill, and you have these swords that rotate around you. And you can use it to make, you know, activate the electro charge or whatever element that you're trying to proc. And once they break or go away, they heal your character. And it heals quite a bit. That It helps that I have two Hydro characters on my team. So I have Mona and Zinqui. So it makes the healing a lot better, which honestly, I might like this better than the electro uh, resonance. I really think I do. But yeah, that's pretty much how I'm going to build him. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and do this boss just to give a little demonstration of what, is, what it does exactly. At first, we're just going to use Mona to break this because it breaks much easier with Mona. And there we go. Switch to Zinqui. Use his. Use Mona's. And then we're going to switch to... Razor and look at oh my god look at this damage we can actually continue to hit here for a little bit if you don't know when he first does that attack if you just stay close it actually does no damage to him but as you can see his little arch oh I'll do this so you can see the once these pop they will start healing me you can see some of the healing already, but once they all pop, each one of those popped and gave me a little bit of health back. It's not as, it's not an insane amount, but honestly, if you're going to use Barbara, you might as well use this one. Kind of just waiting for this man to put his head down so I can 
do something. There we go. That should be the one that makes him make his... Yeah, there we go. And use that to do that. There we go. He's dead. We almost took it out in one hit, and then it just took me a decent amount of time to get him to do the animation again. Because I'm not too familiar with it. And we get nothing great. Alright. I'll take it, though. But yeah, this is the build I'm using. If you're wondering what exactly I'm using, if you can't see from there, I'm using a level 50 Zhang Ling, level 50 Mona, and a level 40 Zinkui. Zinkui will soon be level 50. And then Razor, I'm almost at 35, so as soon as he gets to 35, I already have the materials. But as soon as he's 35, I'm getting him to 70 instantly. But yeah, I could use Fischl with Razor, and that would work out well with Zinqui. It's just, I think I like the resonance for the healing. Because otherwise, his swords do feel a little underwhelming if you don't have the right artifacts. So if you don't have, like, crazy good artifacts, I would recommend using the Hydro Resonance. Just to increase the healing a little bit. Because I don't have too many good artifacts, so I prefer to use this. But yeah, this is the new build I'm going to be using for a bit. I'm I'm really thinking about switching out Zheng Ling. I don't know, I'll have to test it out. I might use Shangling and switch over to Fischl for her. But who knows? The double resonance might, might be kind of OP, but who knows? But yeah, this is a team I'm going to be using. If you have any questions, put it in the comments. Or if you have any suggestions for me, I'm always down to try different builds. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Peace.